Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. We're starting off the week with just something just totally awesome. Uh, I'm sure you've seen some of the trailers out for this. You might have even seen a couple reviews that are already out there, but this is Maverick, the Magician's EDC pouch from D. Christopher. Uh, what is this? This is a EDC pouch, right? It's an everyday carry. I won't call it a wallet. It's too, too small for a backpack. It's not, you know, it's not a fanny pack. It's a, it's a nice little pouch that's gonna carry all of your mentalism. And the only reason why I say mentalism and not necessarily card tricks, I mean, it does. It would totally hold card tricks. Uh, and if you want to stick a couple coins in there, absolutely. But um, 1914 really does kind of focus on mentalism and D. Christopher really fashioned this pouch around a lot of the everyday items that we all carry, whether it be a um, stack of bullets, right? A small little Sharpie pen, maybe a couple of uh, little packet tricks and probably a deck of ESP cards. You know, stick, stick a bunch of stuff like that into a, a pouch designed to carry magic. And then add a couple of magician features. That's right, it's more than a pouch. It also has a switch window it also has card to wallet and it has a six pocket index. You can pick this up at the 1914 right now for $85. Let's talk about it. Is it well made? It is very well made. In fact, on this video, I'm gonna walk you through all the bells and whistles. I'm gonna show you every little fun compartment that I can, that I can. And uh, this is actually the best time to join the member section because I will also upload a second video today where I will open my personal Maverick up and show you my 12 EDC items. That's right, I'm gonna stick 12 marketed effects inside of this small space, enough to entertain people for hours. But uh, back to this Maverick, this is made from X-Pac VX21. So this was fabric originally designed for Olympic sailboats. It has a white interior because most Magic products are black, right? <laughs> and uh, it's, it'll help us stand out. You got a nice little loop right here for a carabiner and uh, a zipper, a nice zipper that goes about three quarters all the way around. All right, so of the 15 videos, what's the overall quality and production value of the videos? Uh, you got D. Christopher, he's in the 1914 uh, living room that we've seen before. He gives you a intro, a brief overview, a step-by-step -step of all the pockets and features and how they were designed to carry uh, D's EDC and his inspiration for them. He's then gonna go over all the magic features, like the card to wallet feature. He's gonna show you how to build a slide and uh, make that work. He'll cover the switching window, which will be good for an unknown card choice or perhaps a bill, serial divination. He's gonna talk about the six pocket index that you've got in there. And then he's gonna give you several tricks. So first he'll give you a star sign prediction and explanation, which is completely slight free, probably the best trick on the entire video. And like I said, completely slight free, completely hands off, super easy to do. All you need are some pieces of paper that are folded up and your ESP deck. Then he's gonna teach a serial number divination using a spectator's borrowed dollar bill. And then he's got his last trick, which is called lucky coin. He says that he found a lucky coin and it has a number written on it. The spectator calls out any number and that's the number that's written on the coin. And then he has some final thoughts. And you know, we could cover angles and inspectability, slice and difficulty level, setup and reset, but you just wanna know <laughs> what this thing does, right? Okay, so the first thing you notice right here in the front is you have an ID window. Of course, you could put your own ID there, right? Your actual ID, or you could put a business card there like I have. Uh, or you can also use this for what it's intended, which is a switching window. So you put a card in there and uh, that's the, a card unknown to, to the spectator, but known to you or a dollar bill. And then you borrow a card or borrow a bill, slide it in. And then as you turn it over, they'll only see the one. And of course, that's the one that you preloaded. So that's a trick in and of itself. 
there's the little carabiner uh, loop right here. On the back, you've got a pocket which will hold a mini Sharpie. Not a full-size Sharpie, you need a mini, okay? But that's uh, maybe a fun purchase you could make and you'll always have a little Sharpie ready to go. You'll never have to remember to, to put one in your pocket. I have the new Pendulum Sharpie from PETA in mine, which again would make another trick you could do uh, for your spectators. The other thing you have here on the back, if I remove the Sharpie marker, is you have two pockets. So there's a full pocket here and a full pocket here. So you could put two packet tricks back there and it'll keep them nice and flat or just, you know, two of, you know, two anything, you know, dollar bills back there. If you wanted to keep actual money or trick bills back there, or maybe, uh, you know, a little business card trick or a cardstock trick. Okay. Like I showed you earlier, you got a zipper that runs three quarters all the way around. And then this is how much you have for space on the inside. You have two elastic pockets, one on either side. One's a standard pocket, one is your uh, index, okay? And the standard pocket will hold a uh, set of ESP cards and your other side will easily hold billets or you can stick your billets right here in the center. I, of course, have a bunch of marketed effects here from the 1914 that you could easily carry inside there. I mean, look at that. That's, you know, four tricks right there plus your ESP cards, your ESP cards, how many tricks can you do with an ESP deck? You know, like three, four, 10, right? So easily could carry several things in this one little pouch. So for the positives, we can see a lot of positive things about this, right? I mean, for one, it's been built to be the right size. I think if you went out and just found any other marketed bag, it's gonna be way too big because they're gonna assume that you're carrying different types of objects like notebooks or a laptop or whatever, things you wouldn't normally carry. Other magicians bags I've seen have been more specifically targeted at the close-up performer, right? They give you options for full-size decks of cards and lots of pockets for packet tricks, coins, things like that. And they're usually a little bulkier than you need. Obviously a fanny pack is a fanny pack, <laughs> right? And a lot of times we end up putting our stuff in our pockets, but for someone who doesn't necessarily wear a suit jacket all the time, you need some extra pockets. And I don't like sticking stuff in my jeans pockets, especially cards, because I'm always worried about them getting folded or damaged. And so something like the Maverick is perfect because I can throw it in my truck and then I've got 10, 12 tricks whenever I want, right? Throw it in my laptop bag again, or just carry it right? It's, it's the right size to carry. Uh, it's the right size that it would slip into a backpack or it would go into your uh, briefcase or go into your carry-on. And then you have all your tricks in one little thing. You're not shoving them all in plastic bags, right? <laughs> or trying to design your own. It's a nice little bag that you could use table hopping, really. If you were a table hopping mentalist and you didn't want to just have things in random pockets, you just come out with this little wallet the wallet doesn't have any heat on it because it is what it is, right? It's, it's, just a little, it's just a little pouch. No one's gonna suspect that it also does switches, has a holdout, it could do card to wallet. Like, that's crazy that it can do all those things. Plus the fact that D thought about things like having a little pocket for your Sharpie, having some extra pockets on the outside for packet tricks, making it all out of a fabric that's gonna last you forever, giving you a nice, strong, sturdy zipper, and then, for that value, he didn't have to give you 15 files of tutorials, ideas, and tricks, right? You get that all on top of it. Plus, it's not even 100 bucks. It's $85, and it's gonna keep everything organized. It's gonna keep everything you know, nice and neat. You'll never have to go back to the closet and you know, assemble a bunch of stuff and, and weigh the pros and cons. Does this fit? Does this fit? You'll be able to do a one-time setup where you assemble a bunch of things and say, this is the stuff I wanna take with me. Like I said, I got a video over in the member section right now where I show you 12 different tricks, 12 different tricks that I love that I can carry in my Maverick right now. It's a, that's more, more mentalism than you would ever possibly need, but uh, it holds it all. So absolutely 
awesome. So appreciative of the 1914 and for D. Christopher for allowing me to have this. I'll have more 1914 reviews coming up shortly. 1914 sent me all the stuff that you see here in this picture and I'll be looking forward to reviewing all of that uh, for you guys as well. And while you're here, you can do me a favor, hit like, hit subscribe, hit follow, mash all those buttons. That helps me out a lot. And if you want to know how to join the member section, this is the perfect time to join. I'll leave a little commercial at the end of this video trying to get a uh, hundred extra members, a hundred extra members. And if I do, I'll do an extra bonus in that month. So in that month that I get a hundred extra members, I'll do an extra bonus giveaway exclusively here on the mothership for everybody. So everyone, everyone wins, everyone wins. Okay. So if you'd like to purchase your own Maverick at the 1914. That's where you want to go. Thanks guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, did you know there are over 300 videos and reviews that you've never even seen here at Magic Orthodoxy? It's true. And if you join the membership section today, you'll get unlimited access to that exclusive content. What are those videos? These would be the magic tricks that I buy with my own money. These are the tricks that I want, the tricks I am the most excited about. All you have to do is click the join button on your screen. And there are two exciting ways to join. For $2, you'll get access to eight extra videos a month, eight brand new videos a month. And for $5 a month, you'll get access to 12 new videos a month. Not to mention, you'll also be part of an exclusive community of almost 500 other magicians. And if you can't find the join button, I will put a link in the description of today's video. Thanks guys, bye.